how to make your first awesome application, not in JavaScript, but in uh, Visual Basic. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, that looks good. And go ahead and go. It's creating the project. If this just pops up, don't click that. Because that's always going to happen. <clears throat> Alrighty. First off, we want to do is get a button and a text box. Now, I have had this occurrence before. They'll say, hey, it's not going away. They click this button. However, it is not showing up the toolbox anymore. Let's go here. Type in toolbox. View toolbox. And it's back. Go ahead and pin that. And go ahead and set up your design, whatever you want. Alrighty. Now, if we double click this button, we could see the properties and it takes us to the code now this is our first text box so the name of our text box is oh yeah go ahead and click this to go alphabetical so our name of our text box is if we look down here L M N the crud now oh, that is uh, Name is textbox one dot. Yeah, it's textbox one. You could call it text box. Ready. Now we can go into the code, and we could do text box tab dot text equals hoy. Now, th basically, what this is saying is text box this dot text meaning the text in the text box equals whatever the heck the string is. You can also do string dim a uh, string as uh, string it hold on string it's just not used. Uh, if we do string this Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, you can't do it like this, or else you'll get confused. And now since this is error ring saying that this does not have an assigned value. So just go ahead and do hoy. Start up the application. We click it. A. No matter what, it says hoy. Now, if we're, today we're going to do an if statement, so if te text box one dot text text equals wall, this is just basically saying if text box one dot text, meaning the text in text box one has lol in it as everything in it then we're going to say textbox dot text equals whatever you heck you want <laughs> now no, I just ate some Doritos anyway if we say lol now if we put A, nothing will happen because it does not contain lol. Now if we put lol, it still doesn't do it because we still have the A in there. Now we're going to do a timing mechanism. So go ahead and delete all that and look for timer. You can also do timer and there it is. Now if we double click this, we can type in the code in here so if a uh, text box dot text equals lol 
uh, text box dot text equals three sixty. No, oh, alrighty. Now if we could do else. And we could just copy and paste this. Now, this timer is not enabled, meaning that this will not turn on. So, we gotta go to the button. You could double click it or go to this VB and just simply type in timer1, which is the name of the timer, as you can see down here. Dot start. That starts the timer. If we go here, dupe. Now you could do uh, an else if, such as else if control V. What the heck? Else, okay. So if that equals 360 no scope, I would like to say text box dot text equals D dirty toes. So I'm going to explain what this is doing right now. It is saying if text box 1 equals lol, change it to 360 no scope. And if it's 360 no scope, change it to Doritos. If it's not lol or 360 no scope, then just put lol. And then that refers to next time it ticks lol. So therefore it creates a loop statement that we could just do. You can also change the interval timer such as doop doop Oops. and now we can also do if timer1 dot enabled meaning timer1 is enabled then timer one dot enabled equals false. Basically, this is just saying a boolean statement for choose for that nah, for stop and start. So else timer one dot start dot enabled equals true. In this case, we start it. Dupe. Lol. 360 no scope. Well, now you can also put more of them in here if you just copy and paste. However, you will need to change then. Oh. Else, there's two ifs. The crud. Else if, tug spot. No. Since there are 360, two 360 no scopes, it will not run well. So just control copy control V and five star. So basically what it's it's like an endless else if statement. Like okay. So if we start it up and dupe stop five stars. Dupe Doritos lol lol 360 no scope <clears throat> so go ahead and save that save all and you basically have your first application alrighty thank you for joining me and I will see you later I will also make more videos on C sharp visual basic HTML and C. So thank you and have a wonderful day.